Hello and welcome to this video tutorial, Ordering Stock Replenishment. When restocking your warehouse and trucks, there are several ways to proceed. First, open your stocking inventory control and maintenance screen, found at F10. Then choose Order Stock Replenishment. The first option is to see a list of items that you are presently short on. This list is based on the restocking levels you set in the master parts plan. In this case, Service Desk looks across the board to see how many total of an item you should have, how many of the item you do have, and therefore how many of the item you need to order. This notification, 3 on shelf, tells you that you have items in the warehouse, but your trucks are low. This alert, Locations Need 4, tells you that some locations may have more than their designated minimum. In other words, you may have said in your master parts plan that each truck should have one of an item, but while one location may be short, another location may have a surplus. Right-clicking on the item will provide you with a display showing you where the parts are currently distributed in your operation. So we can see that Tech AM needs two, but Tech CB has a surplus. Additionally, you may have items on order but haven't received them yet. The deficient item will show up in a purple hue if you are expecting delivery of the item. Floating over the item will display a tooltip with the order information, how many have been on order, with whom, and since what date. To create an order, select the item on the list you want to order and enter the quantity desired in the box. Use your arrows to move up and down the list. Hit the Enter key after you enter the item. When finished adding items, hit the Escape key. This will bring up a prompt to allow you to send the list to the printer, send a request via email, or create a text file. You may then add an internal PO number for tracking purposes. You'll also want to tell Service Desk with whom you place the order. You can now proceed in your normal ordering process, be that placing the order online, emailing to your vendor, or faxing the order request. The second method is to review your entire stock list. This method shows you everything you have itemized on your master parts plan. It also provides you with an indication of the items you're short on, but enables you to add additional stock for something you may be fully stocked on but want to carry additional. Perhaps there is a recall or it is nearing Thanksgiving and you know you're going to get many calls on a particular product. The method for creating your order in this case is the same as the previous. Simply move up and down the list with your arrow keys, entering the number of items you'd like to order. The third method, by simply entering items wanted, allows you to do a database order based on the list that you've compiled outside of Service Desk. You simply type the item in and get an As You Type drop down list. The final method, Items Recently Used, is not based on any pre-populated restocking levels or master parts plan. 
This list is determined strictly off the items the techs have indicated that they've used out of their trucks. This option provides you with a paper listing or a text file that you can then use with whatever means you normally order parts. Finally, you can export a list of pending POs so you can keep track of the items you presently have on order. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching Ordering Stock Replenishment.